So if you're like most people, you're saying, what is SQL? And that's the first sign that you probably haven't seen this topic before because SQL is actually pronounced as SQL and it stands for Standard Query Language. So why do we need to know this? Well, it is being seen on the BEC section of the CPA exam. Now at this point, it's unclear whether this is just a pretest question or it's actually gonna count for your score, but either way, you're now gonna be prepared and you'll now understand SQL. So let me give you the visual on SQL. So off to the left, we have this lady, she's working hard and she's gonna use SQL to perform several types of commands on her database. And so what types of commands can she uh, perform using SQL? Well, she can update records, she can insert records, she can delete records, she can create records, and then she can also modify uh, tables and views, right? So the list goes on, but ultimately she's using SQL to uh, perform commands on the database, right? So it's a way to extract information, make changes, but it's not actually a database itself. So at the bottom of the visual, here are some quick facts. I'll do my best to make these as clear as possible. So first things first, SQL is only used for a relational database management system, not a distributed database management system. And with SQL, the schema or the structure of the database needs to be predefined, fixed, and static, right? So the way we can think about that is there's gonna be different tables. All those tables will have rows and columns that are clearly defined. And what SQL will allow you to do is make changes to those tables, um, you know, using those commands that we talked about, but it has to be structured. It cannot be unstructured. And lastly, the format in a relational database for SQL, it uses rows and columns, like I mentioned, and that is basically just a table, right? So those are some quick facts. Now let's go through this uh, multiple choice question that we created here at Universal CPA to help you understand how you might see a multiple choice question on SQL on the BEC section. So the question is asking which of the following statements regarding SQL is correct. So basically we're looking for a true statement. So we're gonna to need to go through all four of these, determine whether they're correct or incorrect, and the correct one will be our correct answer. So on the first one, SQL is a database system and stands for structured query list. Well, remember, it's not a database system, it's a type of language, and it stands for standard query language, right? So that's gonna be incorrect for two different reasons. How about SQL is a query language that is used to maintain data in a relational database management system? So first off, it is a query language and it is used to maintain or you know, perform commands in a relational database management system. So that statement is definitely correct. Uh, let's check on the last two first. How about SQL is a query language that is used to maintain data in a distributed database management system? So the first part of that is correct, right? It says query language, we know that's true, but it's not for distributed database management systems, only relational database management systems. So that option's incorrect. So then for our last option here, it says the schema for SQL is a dynamic schema for uh, unstructured data. So with schema, you can say schema, schema, I don't really care, but just know that that means the structure of the database. And with SQL, it has to be on a structured database, not an unstructured database. Because the way this query language works is it relies on structure, consistency, right? So it has to be fixed, static, predefined. If that's not the case, then SQL as a language won't work properly and our commands won't mean anything. So that option's incorrect. So the correct answer is SQL is a query language that is used to maintain data in a relational database management system, right? So remember, SQL stands for Standard Query Language. It's used in a relational database management system. Uh, the schema relies on structured, predefined, fixed and static uh, information, and that the format is rows and columns, which is more or less a table. So that is what you need to know for SQL when it comes to the BEC section of the CPA exam.